Hello, hello, hello. I have a pretty unique and cool shirt for you today. Uh, I probably say that every video, but this one, it's um, it stands out for quite a different reason, I think. Um, a lot of the shirts, or should I say most of the shirts that I buy, come from professional and some semi-professional teams. Whereas this one here comes directly from an amateur club. Now, for me, I'm not too bothered about what level uh, of football the club plays at, just as long as the shirt itself is nice. And this shirt most definitely is nice. So I'm going to open up the package now, and then once we have a look at the shirt, I will let you know more about the club itself and the design of the kit as well. So I will open it up and see what we have. I'm very curious to see what it looks like in uh, person, but online, it looks pretty nice. That way, very uh, sort of a basic little baggy. Like that. Like that. Set that there. Has the tags because I've seen it on the uh, social media channel that it has them, so I don't have to worry about that. So, the rear, yes, so the rear of the shirt. Now there is a design there, which is a satellite view of the city that the club is based in. And then on the front, it has the same design. Now if anybody is able to tell me who this club is before I mention it, then well done, because uh, I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you, I'm not that clued upon amateur level football teams from Scotland. So until I saw the shirt advertised, I had no clue. So I'm going to put this on our very good friend, the mannequin, and I will let you know more about the shirt itself. Now hopefully you can see it on the video, the detail of the shirt. If not, I will attach some images, of course. That was pretty decent as well. So the club itself is a team called Glasgow Wellington FC, which obviously suggests that they are Scottish. Glasgow Wellington FC is a club that was formed by a group of best friends in 2020 during the height of the initial lockdown, which is always a great time to start creating anything really, um, <clears throat> let alone a football club. Um, they thought, well, you know, we've played football to a certain degree in Scotland, but, you know, they felt like they could do it better themselves. So they put it all together and submitted their um, registration to a local amateur league. And, uh, yeah, it was approved and this is where they are. So the, the, they play in the, I think it's the Strathclyde Saturday Morning Amateur Division League, which is like five tiers of three divisions or something. I don't even know how it works. Uh, it's, I mean, it's not even on the pyramid. You know, it's like the amateur, so you, you know, you're not going to see them playing Scott, uh, Celtic in, in the Scottish Cup anytime soon. You know, they're, they're going to have to work their way up. So the club name is Glasgow Wellington, uh, and the, which the Wellington part comes from the Duke of Wellington, uh, and that is shown in the club crest. So club crests, obviously very important and during these times when clubs like Juventus, Inter Milan are revamping and modernizing their crests, this club already has what you would classify as a modern crest. What it is, is the Duke of Wellington straddling a horse with a traffic cone on his head. Yes. Um, now, when I was reading about the club and the shirt itself, apparently they want to identify quite heavily with Glasgow and the area. Um, now, traffic cones uh, can be seen quite prominently on nights out with students. Uh, they seem to be carrying them around and they end up in the apartments of students. Um, so, with Glasgow having a mm, fairly famous drinking culture, maybe that's a stereotype, that's probably maybe where it came from. Or possibly the club has a sponsorship deal with a VLC player. It has to be one of the two. So you have the crazy crest. That's going to turn heads initially. Uh, and then the design itself. What you have here is a print of literally Glasgow City. Um, I'm not 100% certain if it's the entirety of it. Because obviously I, I've never been to Scotland myself. But I can imagine Glasgow's pretty decently sized. Um, so it's one of those ones where you know if you're from Glasgow you can probably figure out, hey, that's where I live, or, 
hey, that's the train station, or hey, that's the canal I fell in on a night out. Um, so it's kind of nice, especially when you're a fan of a local club and they pay homage to your town, city, village, whatever it may be. I think that's quite nice. Um, I'm always a fan of a show that does that, even if it's just a flag on the back of the neck or maybe a little monument. Uh, on the sleeves, they have um, a little skyline of something in Glasgow. I will have to do probably a little bit of research and to figure out what that is. Um, so that's that's really nice. Always good to have that running across the, uh, the cuffs. You have sponsor, which is uh, OGV Taproom, which I believe is some sort of um, an alcoholic beverage company who I can only imagine sell them. You have the thank you NHS uh, patches on the sleeves, which is, you know, is, is always nice. I think a lot of clubs have got something at the very least uh, somewhere on their shirts, sort of uh, paying tribute to all of the hard work uh, that the NHS did during the last few years. Uh, and then the manufacturer itself is one that I'd never heard of previously. It's, uh, I think it's pronounced App in Sports. It seems like from the website that they focus primarily on like running and cycling, but they've gotten into football shirts themselves. Um, I think they probably just do what like this shirt is, like amateur style ones. So if you're starting a club, a Sunday league team, you just go to them, submit your requests, put your logo in. If you've got a sponsor, you can attach it and then you can buy a bundle of shirts for your team. Um, so that's pretty cool. The material is actually really nice. It's really silky smooth. Um, there's a little bit of give in it, really high quality material. Um, I would absolutely recommend um, sort of trying this out. Um, that's kind of it. Of course, uh, you know, it's a medium. It looks like it's going to fit a medium. I purchased this directly from the club website. Uh, they have a star. They have the home shirt, which is this, this one. And the title suggests that this is a shirt from the future. And the reason why that is the case, because they were formed in 2020, because of COVID, obviously a lot of professional leagues were sort of canceled and stopped. So you can imagine that amateur leagues, that was not ever gonna happen. I think they maybe played three games with probably this shirt. So as a little, uh, little nice gesture to the fans of the, of the club, they've just carried it across to the 21, 22 season. So technically from the future, but also a current one, I guess, if, if you want to be uh, sort of absolutely correct. Uh, I bought it from the club. It was £35 uh, and shipping to England, or certainly in the UK, is free. So that's always very nice. So that's a very good price. Uh, they have the home one and the away one. The away one is just, I think it's a black. So I can only imagine that the, the colours have just sort of swapped out. Uh, same design. Uh, and when I've been following their um, social media, I think they've been releasing a couple of special editions. Uh, one of them didn't have a sponsor, so I, you know, it wasn't really for me. But they seem to be doing quite well with marketing. They quite know what they're doing. Um, you know, as you can imagine, a, a fresh, brand new club, they need as much money as they can get. So, you know, if they can sell football shirts, and apparently they've been selling them in Vietnam, South America, there's a big bulk order from Portugal. So, you know, this is a good way to get funds. And it's not just teams like this that are doing that. Stuff like um, Ford Madison, the ones with the drip kit, they're a relatively new club and, you know, they've understood that if you get these crazy and wild shirts out there, people are going to buy them or at the very least, they're going to talk about them and that's going to spread your club. So I think it's a, it's always, it's a smart move from clubs that really uh, want it to be ambitious and try and uh, sort of uh, make a stake in, in the world. Um, the only thing I would say when you buy this shirt, they have like a rolling order. So if you buy something in the middle of, say, May, they won't order it until the end of May and then they won't get the stock until some point in June. So it's probable that you'll have to wait about a month for the shirt to arrive. So if you're not in any particular rush, great. Uh, but if you order one tonight, don't expect it to be in your post box within a week. Uh, it's just not going to happen. But other than that, I think that's pretty cool. It's, um, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be going and just buying amateur clubs all the time now. But, you know, if a shirt like this appears i think it's probably reasonable it fits in with the rest of the shirts it's got a crazy design uh really good uh, material and it has the sponsor on the front so you know i'm very pleased with that so yeah uh keep your eyes out for glasgow wellington fc maybe one day we might see them playing um you know scottish premier league football 50 years time down the line so you know grab one of their inaugural season shirts and you can go hey i was there since the beginning 
Anyway, that's it. That's my shirt for today. A little bit different, and I'll see you in the next video. As always, thank you for watching.